morning from beautiful Guadalajara. This is my last day in Guadalajara before I, uh, I go off to the Caribbean. And uh, I'm going to try to get as much out of it as possible, see some more squares and museums. But I just wanted to take this time to talk about something which I think needs needs to be discussed and and I think anybody who's uh, thinking of coming to Guadalajara should know. Um, I wasn't really going to talk about this but I think it's important. So two days ago as I might have mentioned in another video um, I had my uh, my phone stolen my iPhone stolen right out of my hands so I was uh, I was sitting waiting for my uber and uh, just close to my hotel, Hotel Morales. And uh, I was sitting on a, on a bench next to the sidewalk and I was scrolling, waiting for my Uber when all of a sudden, bang, I noticed a pair of hands grab my phone and yank it out of my hands. I was in a state of shock. And I saw this guy like take off onto the back of a waiting motorbike and speed away. Um, there's very little I can do. I was able to at least, you know, struggle with him over the phone. But he did man he grabbed it with both hands. He knew what he was doing. So uh, he was he was very much aware of what he was doing um, and obviously they uh, they have this worked out so yeah that's what happened now I spoke to the police about it uh, made a report I uh, talk to my hotel about it. Now, what I learned is this. It's a very common occurrence here in Guadalajara, especially in the downtown area, tourist area, especially around a place called the Plaza de la Technology. Plaza of Technology. Uh, because that is a plaza where they have all kinds of stolen iPhones, and stolen phones, stolen computers, spare parts. They could replace your your broken phone, screens, etc. And I think that's where they get their parts. <laughs> that's where they get their phones. Now, um, if anybody, so I'm going to make a couple of recommendations. Um, one, you should always travel with a spare phone just in case you lose a phone uh, get stolen what have you have a spare phone even if it's a cheap one just have a spare phone secondly make sure all your data on your phone is is protected and you have your uh, you have your uh, if you have an Apple uh, have uh, it locked up with your face detection and backed up with a password, a good strong password. And secondly, you have Find My iPhone activated on your phone so that if it's ever lost, you know exactly where it is. Because if you go on that app, it'll tell you where your phone is. So that's important. Also make sure you're, you don't leave passwords you don't leave important information written in notes or anything like that. Make sure you get a good encrypted app to store 
sensitive data. I use LastPass, which is, I feel, a really good, strong encrypted app that guards against having your data taken or stolen or looked at. Uh, because it uses face detection, it uses uh, two-factor authorization. So even if your phone gets stolen, they'll never get your data. Second thing, your credit cards. Make sure they're not lingering around your phone. Do not store your numbers on your phone. You could have that all stored in LastPass. And you can have it on your Apple wallet. But uh, do not keep those numbers in notes or anything like that especially you know if you think you're one of those people that forgets things if you're forgetful use LastPass get a good you know uh, password protection app on your phone and computer the other thing if by any chance you lose your phone or it's stolen right out of your hands like mine was um, right away right away lock that phone okay and the way you do that is you use your other phone to access find my iPhone locate that other phone and there's a button there that says lock it so once you lock it that phone is basically useless to those people they can try plugging it into a computer, they can try wiping the data, they can try anything, but they will not be able to access your phone, they'll not be able to use your phone. It will basically become a paperweight. And uh, all they have left to do with that phone afterwards is to chop it up into pieces. So they might take it apart, sell the screen, you know, sell the sell the parts for parts basically. But it won't be it won't be sold. <laughs> it won't, you know, in, in other words, they're not going to sell it as a new phone or as a used phone or anything like that. It's done. Right? So that's the first thing. You could put a note or a, a little message to call you or email you. If you find this phone, please contact me here, etc. Offer a reward, maybe, or something. But otherwise, yeah, it's, it's basically a paperweight at that point. So, uh, that's number, uh, yeah, that's, that's another point. And the other thing is to be very careful, be very mindful of what you have in your hands and what you're doing and where you are especially in places like here Guadalajara it's a beautiful city I, I'm not saying you shouldn't come here or <clears throat> there's a lot to do here it's beautiful but it's noted for phone thieves there's an actual name for them it's uh, moto ladrones um, that's an actual term they use here for them moto ladrones They'll snatch things right out of your hands. They could snatch this camera right now out of my hands, but I'm being very aware of where I am and who's around me. When I was scrolling through my phone waiting for Uber, I was not paying attention. And that's another thing. You need to be aware um, of your surroundings when you're on your phone. And I know a lot of us use Google Maps and, you know, and we look at our phones as we're walking to make sure we're going in the right direction, but be very mindful of where you are and situational awareness so that you don't uh, become a victim of, uh, of phone theft or camera theft or purse theft or apparently they'll snatch anything. Again, the technique is there's two guys on a motorbike one guy's waiting about 30 feet away and the other guy sneaks up behind you and you know just rips whatever he wants out of your hands off your neck if it's a purse and they just take off uh, so be very mindful um, of your surroundings uh, 
try to notice if there's like if you see like two guys on a motorbike you know just be you know just be very mindful that you know they could be you know uh stalking somebody it could be you waiting for you to have like a, a distracted moment yeah so don't so don't be a victim i mean i learned my lesson uh that phone now is a brick i used uh the find my phone app to know where it is I actually went there it was uh they uh they took it to the plaza technology plaza de la tecnologia which is what i talked about it's basically a i think it's just a den of thieves a bunch of you know iphone thieves computer thieves and what they do is they either steal your data take your phone take your computer try to sell it to somebody else wipe it clean if they can um, and if they can't then they chop it up into pieces and sell it as parts my phone had a cracked screen for example so it's, it's not going to be very valuable to them nobody wants a phone with a cracked screen on it so right there it makes that phone much less attractive um, yeah, and another reason I'm making this video is I'm hoping that the police here in Guadalajara will do something about this. Like it's a very common uh, theft here. And they need to start cracking down on it. So one way they can do it is by having more police presence in these neighborhoods. The area I was in when my phone was stolen didn't have a lot of police presence like the squares. Like if you walking through the public squares, the beautiful squares, etc. You're going to have a lot of police around on motorcycles and, and bicycles and stuff, standing around, <clears throat> keeping an eye on things. But in some other areas, there's no police presence. So be mindful. If you don't see a lot of police presence in your area, then be very careful about where you're going, what you're doing, maybe even at night. Don't go out at night uh, because, you know, again, thefts have been happening at night. So um, be careful with that. Um, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, maybe they need to have more police presence in these areas to, to um, deter uh, these thieves. And uh, yeah, so apparently I read something in a in a news article that recently, I think in February, that they nabbed a phone thief. Like, they caught one. Like, some citizens caught one and they beat the shit out of them. <laughs> so, uh, I guess there's vigilante justice. Uh, but still, I mean, you know, who wants to? Who wants to get involved? You, I mean, you're coming here to travel, you're coming here to have a good time, explore learn things you don't come here to get ripped off so um, again be mindful be careful keep your situational awareness make sure your phone is is properly secure you got face detection you got password protection you don't have any sensitive information uh, lurking around on your phone and if it does get stolen or lost or you drop it in the lake lock it up right away lock it and then it just, it becomes secure. They can't even, oh, the other thing you should do, I forgot to mention, is if you do have a, an iPhone, for example, and you use iCloud to log in, immediately change your iCloud password. Right away, as soon as it gets stolen, especially if it gets stolen, you lock it, and the second step is to change your iCloud password, because once that happens, they cannot have any access to anything on your phone, onto iCloud, nothing. It's done. It's finished. So, uh, yeah, those are some tips. Anyways, good luck, safe travels, and uh, yeah, just stay aware. I'll talk to you later.